the gravitational displacer five mana four three star piece when this is launched summon a copy of the starship so this is like this isn't actually the starship itself this is something entirely different this is the starship piece and this is launched so i'm gonna a copy of this bro isn't this like the worst thing ever five mana four three in my 2024 hearthstone like you, the starship that rogue gets has to be like insane like you would have to you would have to want this so bad that you are you're willing to play this card like there is no way this is playable right five mana four three do nothing until you're summon your starship okay i'll i'll save my my opinions on the legendary here but i am not excited for this that sounds egregiously bad like i'm gonna be honest that almost sounds unplayable like five mana four three chat wasn't even playable in classic hearthstone for the record like that's not even playable in classic hearthstone so let's see what we got talgath four mana four four undamaged enemy minions take double damage combo get a backstab what the fuck is this <laughs> what is this okay there's a spell in the game right now called tar slick right which is just one mana all minions take double damage this turn what is the point of this card what i don't understand so this is four mana deal four damage to a minion but you get the additional effect maybe there's some cool way of there's no way man like what the fuck is this what is this these both the legendaries seem so bad huh the demon for warlock i bro if that's their excuse for putting this card this is disgusting this is an awful card this is so bad I feel like this would be fine as like an epic. Um, maybe we're underestimating how powerful this text is, but I seriously doubt it. I I think this is just not a good card. So we'll keep on going, I guess. All right, I'm gonna pronounce this Giga wrong, but I'm gonna try my best here and chat, make fun of me if I'm wrong. Uh, Qasar, Quasar, Qasar. Oh, I something I don't know something with a Q. A uh, six mana quasar 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 aha i did it see i got it i got it did you guys know how to pronounce that like did you guys actually know how to pronounce that bro i could read this card for two million years and i wouldn't understand what this card is what the hell that is insane you guys knew how to pronounce this we watched sci-fi okay that's fair six mana shuffle your hand into your deck reduce the cost of cards in your deck by three Hmm. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Reduce the cost of cards in your deck by three. So if you play this twice, you get a free deck. Six mana do nothing's pretty rough. You could prep into this card so that it's cheaper. So you can do this on four mana. The earlier you do this, the better it is. Like you want to do this as soon as possible. No redraw. What do you mean no redraw? Like the 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 idea would be like you play this into um gear what is it uh something pit the one that shuffles two cards in your deck and then draws three there's the location there's the new three drop there's the um, there's the weapon there's also gaslight gatekeeper this is a card that okay so the thing about a card like this is it reminds me of encanter's flow in a sense where it's like you this card's either really good or it's just like awful. Like there's no in between here. So six man is a pretty safe thing for this because I feel like this is on the verge of being unplayable it's on the verge. This is a weird card. I feel like this is very like high rolly, but if the thing is like the second there's a deck that actually can make this consistent enough, because I think the dream here is like you want to be able to shuffle through your whole deck. Like you want to play every card in your hand and keep going, right? It's very interesting. I don't know if it's broken. I don't think it's that good. Six mana do nothing is really tough. So unless you have prep exactly, it's really difficult. Hmm. It's really interesting. Shuffle your hand into your deck is really interesting too. All right, 
we'll come back to this card because again this there might be other synergies here lucky combat oh my comment comment lucky comment two mana discover a combo minion the next one you play triggers it twice the next one you play triggers its combo twice does that mean just minion okay so what do we got here thank you again for Imic for these beautiful things here this is so useful it's crazy uh awful awful potential good potentially good I haven't seen this card yet but that sounds good potentially good probably don't want to play that uh this is probably bad this is bad this is maybe okay yes bro now I see the synergy okay this card's bro no I'm kidding um wow uh two mana to discover a combo minion and it does literally nothing for the most of it that sounds really bad um I think maybe this one's fine this is really good if you get the combo it's a lot of stats for three mana they have rush this one potentially is like very very good but again it's like what the fuck okay what is this pressure points three mana deal three damage to a minion reduce the cost of combo cards in your hand by one okay 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 hold on 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 is rogue saved what is the best card here oh manager's fine eviscerate's fine dubious could be good waiting party potential draw your sonia i guess uh three mana to a minion so you play this twice it reduces all combo cards in your hand so unless there's like what the fuck is this there has to be some like nutty combos in the future right so far this is um very underwhelming for rogue i'm gonna be honest uh maybe there's something else here okay so we have eridar skulker two mana one three combo and spell burst gain plus two attack and stealth and it's a demon this card's actually probably pretty good if you combo it it's a two mana three three with stealth that's actually pretty decent and then you can do it again so you can swing it, re uh stealth it also gain plus two attack and then I have to swing again that's that has potential this is a good card this is probably a good card I think I'm gonna go with maybe I think it, it's definitely playable it's definitely playable starship schematic one mana discover a starship piece from another there's no way we're playing this I what Guilt. no no welcome way. to ram ranch burning tavern i'm i'm looking through all thank you for the the sub tavern i appreciate it man thank you I'm looking for all the pieces and i other what Did, <laughs> brother imagine looking at all the other starship pieces and saying and saying to yourself man i really want to spend one more mana for not even a guaranteed piece oh that is so bad that is so bad okay all right let's surely the next card's gonna save us hold on barrel roll three mana deal five damage to an undamaged character cost one if you're building a starship so unplayable unless you're building a starship and at the moment i do not want to be building a starship currently what the fuck am i watching what am i reading bro is this real like is this a real i mean like it was sonia maybe that's kind of dope i guess but okay. scrounging shipwright two minute three two death rattle <laughs> sorry i read the text before i even knew what it was <laughs> Get a random starship piece from another class? I can't. I can't. <laughs> Bro, why is this so bad? What the fuck? Like, it, maybe if the game slows down a lot, there's potential, but surely there's no way, right? <laughs> Look again, like, like, oh my god, it's a random piece. Bro, it's a random. It should just say, no, maybe summoning's too strong. Maybe it costs one less would be good it's so slow man it's so slow and then you still have to pay five mana for the ship I I, I there's just no way this is play there's no way this is playable 
There's no way, man. Okay, whatever. Space Rock Collector, one mana, two, one. Battle card, your next combo card costs one less. I mean, that's not bad. If the combo deck is good, this is completely playable. But again, it's like, I, I, dude, I'm going to be honest, chat. Like the Starship mechanic looks, it looks cool, but I'm pretty sure every single one of them are bad. Like I'm the only one I'm maybe confident in is Death Knight. Like Death Knight is the only one that actually has a card where I'm like, okay, I can really see the synergy with it. Where is it? Uh, it's the two, like this card, this card. Like this card actually looks playable, but I feel like every one I've seen, it's just like, not only do you have to play really mediocre cards, you then have to spend five mana to actually use those cards again. And then all of those cards just die to one removal. So unless you get the elusive one from Druid, right? I think it's, I think it's Druid, right? Yeah, unless you get this one from Druid so your starship doesn't just explode immediately. It is just so bad. Cthune all over. I, I arguably think it's worse than Cthune because at least Cthune just dealt damage. The only reason I think this, these starships are going to be playable, and I think I'm, I'm, I don't even think I'm coping with this. I think this card single-handedly carries them. This is the only reason you're playing this card. Because like, at least this card gives you something. Like, at least it gives you these, these things, uh, the, the extra things. But like, I don't know, man, they're like so bad. Like, it's just kind of depressing, if I'm going to be honest. But maybe maybe we're completely I wrong. I really now, fail to see how the whole starship mechanic is playable. It just dies to hard removal the second <laughs> it comes out. I agree. You're gonna laugh so hard if Rogue is tier one because of the starship, dude. In what reality would fucking Rogue be tier? What the hell? <laughs> in what reality is Rogue tier one because of the spar the starship? In what reality? There, I don't know. I don't see it. I think like either. Okay. So the question is for Rogue, at least I'll look at Shaman in a quick second. Does do starships get better post rotation? We lose festival. We lose Titans and we lose Badlands. Losing Badlands is actually a really big deal because that's a really powerful set. Titans is also a very powerful set. So losing that's a big deal. Um, Festival of Legends had some very good cards. So I mean, they get slightly better, but again, like you're you're in a world where Ziliac still exists. I mean, actually, after rotation, starships do get a lot better. I, I legitimately think Yogg at ten is so brutal for this, and so is Reno, right? Reno still destroys your starships, yeah, even if they're dormant. So, I mean, Rogue set looks awful, man. I don't know. I don't know. This is the this is literally the only card I think is playable. Like this is, this is it. I, I I just don't see a reality where any of these other cards are playable. But to be fair, like I rem there's a good chance that a lot of these cards will be just played the first couple of days because of um of people trying out new stuff, but I, I just don't see it. Okay, uh let me just double check to see if the new shaman stuff is added to this. I'm just gonna refresh real fast chat. Okay, they haven't added yet. So we'll go through this and then we'll get through the other one. Predicted will there'll be a lot of starship buffs. I, I mean, at this point, I'm pretty confident that's the case because I don't know. Like, it, it just that that's a rough set, dude. I thought Warlock got a pretty mediocre set, and that, that looks rough. Like, that looks horrible. Think the Hall of Fame Reno? No, not one expansion before. There's no way. There's no way. I think people would really like it, but then you're also getting rid of the the Highlander archetype, and people really like the Highlander archetype, right? It's it's just hard. It's just really hard to deal with it. Uh, please, I have a meeting in ten minutes. Wait, what? Oh God, Leo. Okay, guys, Leo's here. Everyone say starships are going to look really good. Smile, 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 smile. Okay. Uh, Farsi. Oh God, what is this name? Nobundo. The fuck's a Nobundo? Farseer Nobundo. Five mana, six four death battle. Open the galaxy lens. It absorbs the power of the next spell you cast. This is a drain eye. Five mana spell burst absorb the. Sp whoa, 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 whoa. Spell burst. Okay, so when it says power, does that mean it summons something equal to the st the the mana cost and stats of the spell you just played? I'm assuming that's what it means, right? And then you get to it's a location, so then you get you could replay the spell.
Whoa, 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 now you got to think about what, how you're going to play your spells out. This is a card that makes you think. How do we feel about it? It's death rattle. It is very slow, but I mean, if you get there, that's crazy. I kind of like it. It's a cool idea. Loose is Torino. All right, but we could blank and stave and all of that, right? <laughs> It's a cool card. Like the potential here is really, really big. All right, let's see what we got here. What else is there? Nebula, nine mana, discover two eight cost minions to summon taunt and elusive. And they're arcane. That's arcane, sorry. Discover two eight cost minions to summon with taunt and elusive. So that is like, is Rag, Kulagurg. There's, a lot. There's, some, there's some decent ones, right? Nine mana to get two. Dude, okay, can we just, guys, I gotta mention Dreads here for a quick second. I'm pretty sure Dreads is gonna molt against this card in Arena. Isn't this like the Giga Nuts in Arena? This is so powerful in Arena. I'm not sure about standard because it's tough because, like, most of the time you're putting cards in your deck because it synergizes with the rest of your deck. But th this in, in Arena, like, this is disgusting. Like, you're gonna molt. <laughs> you're gonna molt. And then you can do it again with the location. See, I actually don't think that's what you want to do. But Taunt and Elusive is so annoying. There was like that eight mana card for Mage that was a five, six or something two five sixes. And if you got that played, it could be so frustrating to deal with, but it almost looks like an arena card. Now, let me see what else there is first before we talk about that. Two mana, three, two Planetary Navigator. That'll card the next Drain Eye you play costs two less, but it has Overload two. Hmm, like a little bit of a trade-off. I kind of like that. I, you know what? I really like design like this because it's not like just outright mana cheating. It's like there, it comes at a cost. And I like the fact that this is cost. Okay, I'm going to say something here in chat. I'm going to say something. I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. This expansion might be really good for the game because if they don't, if they don't outright just completely buff the shit out of it, if the next year follows suit of the power level of this expansion, Hearthstone's actually going to be in a really good spot by the end of next year. Like, we got to wait a while, but I think one of the reasons why Rostikon's Rumble, like, one of the years I like Savers of Uldum so much is because Witchwood, Boomsday, and Rostikon's Rumble weren't just outright broken. So, like, the game was really fun because of just how, what the power level was until that moment. So, this is actually, like, a really... At the moment, I'm really hoping that like that's the case. But the problem with that is the flip side, right? The flip side is if you if you don't make your expansion look exciting and powerful, you don't sell as many packs, which is a big deal. But I'm hoping which would not broken. I mean, which would add Baku again? Shutterwalk. There's maybe a couple other cards I'm missing, but for the most part, like which one was not a really broken expansion. There was just a like a couple of outliers. Like really big outliers. But you notice after they were Hall of Famed, like how much better the game was? Interesting. It is uh very interesting. Yo, Emic, are the the rest of the cards on the site yet? If not, it's all good. Cosmonaut? Cosmonaut quickie! So we're gonna five five battle cry, discover a spell from your deck, reduce its cost by five. Oh, so you're supposed to go like that into this wait no you cook even further chat you cook even further you play this into this right and then you play this earlier absolute cinema if i'm gonna be honest absolute cinema that could be the nuts that could be the nuts i'm gonna be honest but it, it, that might be disney world hold on wait it could even 
You can even play this. I don't know, because then you need like the full thing. Okay. I mean, I don't... <sighs> seven minute five five <gasps> with shutter block though. Damn, that could go insane. Actually, you go shutter block into Cosmonaut, you get three spells. They all get reduced by five, and then you just you just shit in their mouth and you shadow step. It's so true, dude. Wait, that could be that could be popping though. Shaman set makes you want to think, which I guess is good for the game. <laughs> Um, first contact, summon two random one cost minions, overload one. Okay. Can we just take a moment? Do you guys remember the card first day of school from Skullman's Academy? That card was zero mana. Get two one cost minions. No overload. Which card is better? Would rather summon two random or get them in your hand for zero. Wait, this one's overloaded. The same mana cost in a sense. Really interesting. This puts him into play. No, I know, Leo. I know. I know. It's the difference of it's it's two mana to put them into play immediately versus zero mana to put them in both in both in your hand, but you don't get the overload. Really interesting. If first day of school was a very good card, is this card better? I don't know. Like the problem with this card is you don't get the battle cries, right? Yeah, you don't get battle cries, which is a big deal. Battle cries are like foundational to a lot of cards. This is better since wave exists. Oh, see, see, cooking. That's what I like to see there, bro. That's what I like to see. Chat, what if you cost not into first contact? Holy shit. No, I'm kidding. Okay, I need to see the rest of the shaman pool before we uh, continue this because I think it's. I'm hoping Imic, Imic, oh, nice. Imic's the goat. Guys, can I get a pog for Imic? The guy's actually insane. Is it all the cards? Nice, okay, what do we got? Murmur. Six mana, six, six. Your battle cry minions cost one, but immediately die after being played. <gasps> what? That's so cool. Bam. Wait, that's so cool. What is that good with? Shutter block is interesting now. That's probably the coolest card of the set. That's the first card that's made me outright pog. That's so cool. What is this good for? Like, what is there any card in 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 standard right now you want to battle cry for one that it want you to want to die immediately? What is it? What would it be? Watch the raunchy animation. Okay. Let me go through all the cards. We'll watch after, okay? I don't want to get copyright claimed on, on this and the second, <laughs> the more rare video, just in case. Razzle Dazzler. I mean, at that point, though, don't you just want to just, you know, just play the Razzle Dazzler on seven? Like, it's the same mana. Like, it's. They banned the broken card in mono red on oh, the ley line. Well, I was right. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta run that in the CGB's face because I was told them it might be, bro it might be banned just because of how unfun it will be. One mana ceaseless expanse. I don't know what that card is, Simic. What is that? <laughs> I guess Cosmonaut's a good one, right? Cosmonaut is probably one you're focusing on here. Oh, 100 mana. Oh, the 100 mana one is interesting. But uh, don't you want the 1515 at that point? I don't know. Let's continue. We'll come back to this. Alex Straws is interesting. Hey, Rand, I'm just popping in to say you're wrong and I will not explain. No good. All right, chat, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, but someone make sure that I'm pronouncing it right for the future so I don't get memed on every single day of my life. Uh, Bolied Behemoth? Belied? Belid? <laughs> Belidi? Bolidi Behemoth? Four mana, three, six. Battle cry your asteroids deal one more damage this game. Spellbird shuffle three of them into your deck. There's the neutral that shuffles asteroids, right? It's the only other card currently. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Because, like, now you can't play with Murmur. Well, I just realized Murmur's an elemental. 
That's kind of spicy. That's why they're called asteroids. Bro, imagine a world where you play Insidious and you play this. Murmur plus Dungar. Oh no, that sounds miserable actually. Oh no, this card's actually, this card's probably gonna be really good. Hmm, okay. Meteor Storm, six mana, deal five damage to all minions, shuffle five asteroids in your dock. Is this playable? Six mana to deal five to everything is fine, because we've had that before. We had like the potion for Warlock in Mean Streets, but that also did five to your face and the opponent. So this is just minions. Tumbleweed is seven mana to deal six to everything, and it summons a six six. So the question is, do you really want the asteroids? The weird thing now becomes, okay, so I need a question. Leo, are you still here? I don't know if he is. He might have a meeting. I'm not sure. Chat, I would assume that if this is played first and then you play this card, all of these asteroids do still get the buff, right? Just based on how it reads. So like, instead of doing two, they still do three. I'm assuming that's how it'd be. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So I was gonna say like, one of the problems with this, this synergy is like, it feels really bad because you'd have to play this first. But if you can curve into this, it's actually not that bad. So then you would want to, this is also, no, I was gonna say like, maybe with Murmur you'll play this to get more, but maybe you don't even care about the, the, the asteroids. That's really interesting. This card with like, see, you remember with like when we saw Shutterblock for the first time and I was saying like, at some point that card's gonna be like the turbo nuts and it's already like playable. Now you have like a whole other synergy for this. Like Shutterblock into this card is like actually kind of insane. Does that mean all your asteroids deal five? That's kind of spicy. Not sure which one's better though. I feel like Insidious is still better with Shutterblock, but maybe I'm completely wrong. Just got home, would you mind starting over? <laughs> nope. You could go watch the VOD, bitch. Triangulate two mana, discover a different spell from your deck. Shuffle through copies it into your deck. Discover a different spell. Discover a different spell from your deck. Like one that's not in your deck? What the fuck does different mean? This is asteroids? Uh, oh, different as in you can't get triangulate. Sorry, I'm stupid. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. What is that emote? I understand. I understand. I was thinking like different, like <laughs> something unique, but that, I mean, it makes sense. So you're doing this for asteroids. Okay, so now that we've seen the whole asteroids, oh, wait, there's one more card. Hold on, hold on. Ultraviolet Breaker, three minute, three, two, battle cry, deal three damage to an enemy minion, shuffle three asteroids in your deck. Okay, chat. What the fuck are we thinking about this asteroids thing? Thought it was a discovered MTG. Yeah, I was thinking like you rip a card from Yu-Gi-Oh, you get pot of greed and you start popping off. You know what I mean? That's what I was thinking. Like a different spot. How crazy would that be, chat? You play triangulate. Next thing you know, your opponent's playing pot of greed and they get three more copies of it in their deck. That would be insane. That would be insane. All right, overall though. Okay, so Asteroid Shaman actually looks like a coherent archetype that could be playable. It's definitely easy. Also, a lot of them are like elementals, which is nice. So they can go into your asteroid. So you're running Insidious Asteroid Elemental. Yeah, great. That's what you're probably playing for. Yo, discover Shadow Step with this maybe. Oh shit! 22 asteroids max if you get all the triggers. So 44 damage goes up to 66 of you of them once before any of them cast okay but rather than going through that whole that whole charade what if we just go shutter block insidious gaslight gatekeeper and just odk them like three cards versus versus this whole shirt why not both second shutter why does the second shutter matter I don't know. It's really interesting. I feel like this card is so cool, though, man. I really like this card. I think it's so interesting. 
I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I, I, I hope this card is playable. All right. Um, let's watch the raunchy reveal show.